Hello YouTube, I'm Don Brandt. Today I'm going to give you some information and show you things about the Dell PowerEdge R710. We're also going to do an upgrade. We're going to change the default. This is a Perk 6i RAID controller. We're going to swap that out to a uh, 700H RAID controller. And I got this kit that comes with a battery. For the, for the uh, H700 RAID controller. And then it actually comes with the RAID controller as well. Here's the RAID we'll controller. Go ahead and you lift this latch and uh, the cover will come off. And let's take a close look up here at what's inside. Here's the existing RAID controller here. This is the Perk 6i. And here are the connecting cables. And they are different than the ones on the 700H. And they fit into the side of the chassis. Sorry about the camera shake, guys. They fit in here, all around the edge, and they come out here, and they plug into this back plane. There's one of the connectors, and there's the other connector. And we'll get a better look at this as we go so along. So we're gonna start out by taking the uh, Perk 6i controller out. And it's got three connectors. This is the battery connector, and then the two SAS connectors. And we'll slide the card out. And there's our card, it's out. Hello, Larry. Wow. Twenty four terabytes. Okay, so now you can see all the drives, all six of them showing up. And you can see this is the perfect so we're gonna ask 700. The question, will a ten terabyte Iron Wolf fit into an H seven hundred RAID controller? Uh, I found one article, a guy said that he could get it working with a specific firmware version. So we got uh, five four terabyte drives. We're gonna go ahead and take this ten terabyte put it in a hot swap tray and check and see if it works. Okay, so let's go over. This is a R710 that we're putting this in. Okay. Orange went to green, good sign. And let's refresh. There you go. <clears throat> the 10 terabyte shows up in the H700. Let's 
let's find the firmware version. There's the utility 2 bytes 2.02-0025.1. And here's the specs. The firmware version 2.100.03-2035. Alright guys, thanks for watching.